Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Friends, welcome back to my channel In this session we will discuss how we can test a signal from any board Either it is DC signal, either it is AC signal Either it is isolated or unisolated signal How we can use oscilloscope What are the basic requirements to, to test a signal from that board Oscilloscope, basically it is a device which will measure the signal and it will display the signal in some graphical form as this device is much sensitive device and if we want to test a signal what is signal signal is name of some voltage some frequency that contains amplitude and time period so signal always is a name of some voltage any voltage which is coming out from any circuit it have a low line that is called return path and it have also a high path that is called signal so signal high signal low might, might be these are some voltage in DC form or some AC form we have this DSO oscilloscope CRO or DSO it is powered up with some line voltage two points to be considered one is unit under test the second is DSO oscilloscope this requires line voltage and this one requires line voltage unit under test it is giving some signal out and it have return path and DSO have a ground path so all the time we have to connect the DSO return path with the signal reference that is return path for that circuit and we will inject this signal to the DSO so DSO the oscilloscope will compare this signal with res respect to this reference point that is the return path of that signal it is output and here it is input what are the safety parameters first of all if we are working on some unisolated circuit that is supplied with direct line voltage if our test bench does not have any isolation transformer it is the best practice if we are working in some lab some workshop our test bench must be isolated this is our line if we want to isolate our test bench line neutral so we can isolate this is the first option so our UUT unit test or the job is now isolated it is for human safety if I will touch this circuit I am safe most of the time we don't have this facility in our workbench in our workshop for that reason we can isolate we can use isolation transformer for our oscilloscope we can use isolation transformer at the input of this scope I am using isolation transformer for my oscilloscope so it will isolate from the line voltage line and neutral now if I will connect this oscilloscope with this circuit if I'm not using this one and I am taking direct supply voltage here so this circuit will directly connected to the line voltage but our oscilloscope will not have direct line connection so it have isolation transformer now we can connect this oscilloscope to the signal this is the return path of this signal and here it have a return path for its input circuit this time I'm using Regol DS1102E 2 channel 100 megahertz 1 giga sample per second I have also Hentec 2 channel oscilloscope 100 megahertz 1 giga sample and I have 4 channel Tektronics oscilloscope so you can use any oscilloscope but the test pattern will remain same the test procedure will remain same this is the input probe for the, this DSO for this oscilloscope if you see this probe it have attenuation setting it is 1x and 10x attenuation 
when we will set it to 1x the signal between this return path and the input pin will apply to oscilloscope directly and if I will connect 10 time attenuation at that time the signal between these two points return path and the input line will attenuate it 10 times we can say if I am applying here 10 volt signal the signal will reach here 1 volt it will be attenuated with 1 into 10 ratio if I am applying 100 volt 100 divided by 10 10 volt will reach here if I will apply 1 volt 10 time attenuation will provide just only 100 millivolt signal so this oscilloscope will remain in safe limit now I will turn on this oscilloscope and we will make it ready for a best practice first of all make a self test for, for oscilloscope so that we will make sure that this test device is working properly we have this ground line return path and we have test probe here is a test signal for verification ground tape to the ground terminal and the test probe to the test socket set auto button so it will automatically set the signal to display on the display screen so it is giving 2.96 volt 100 kilohertz in some oscilloscopes it is 5 volt signal it is displaying 2.96 volt 1 kilohertz frequency so we can say the probe is good and its sampling circuit is good basically it is a question from one of my viewer he asked me hello I will like to ask you if possible to make a video to explain how we can connect oscilloscope to a circuit I cannot pronounce his name because uh, it is might be written in some Russian language I I think so let's connect if I want to test signal for this IC SMPS controller IC that is UC3842 IC in this power supply circuit first of all we have to determine the type of circuit if we see it is supplied with direct line and neutral so this portion from this area up to SMPS transformer it is directly exposed to line voltage so testing here will need a special care for, for human safety and for the test equipment safety second thing if we are going to test a signal in the secondary side that is isolated because after transformer we have isolation before transformer it is unisolated circuit so we have to take special care second thing when we want to test signal from some circuit we must know the reference point for this if I want to test the signal from this IC I must consult the data sheet for that IC that which is the ground pin and what is the output or any pin we want to test for example if I test the footprint of this IC it says pin number 5 that's ground set multimeter to continuity and check where is the ground so its pin number 5 is directly connected with the main DC capacitor that is here I connected a wire at the ground pin and I connected a wire at pin number 5 the third point in the testing we must take care that it is high voltage and the maximum voltage level in the input socket that is 300 volt RMS for more safety if we want to test this signal if we want to test the signal at input line that is 220 volt RMS we can select it at 10x attenuation in this situation the signal will attenuate it 10 times although the output of this IC is around 10 volt 12 volt for more safety first of all we have to set this attenuation button at 10 time so the signal will be 
downgrade it up to 10 times and we can adjust this switch again to display the signal properly for best measurement now I am applying power when the power is applied never touch to any component in this live site set auto button now it is displaying 100 kilohertz 1.2 volt that means if we set this attenuation button to one time so it will provide 12 volt signal it is 1.2 multiplied by 10 so it will around 12 volt now we set this prop to 10x we are applying 10 time attenuated signal at the input port we have two options now the first option we can adjust here in the software channel coupling then there is a prop prop 1x 5x 10x we can select 10x prop when we will select 10x prop now it will display the actual voltage which are being applied at input pin it is the first condition then if we are if we want to use without changing in the multiplier we can adjust this switch at 1x when we set it at 1x it is displaying 12.2 volts we can set 10x and then we can set probe type at 10x it will display the voltage and the frequency so in this way we can test the signal but we must isolate either the board or the test equipment now I am using the isolated oscilloscope so that is the much better for testing any signal either I am testing signal in the input side or either I am testing in the output side I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh